What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're going to be spending a real day in the life with the Samsung Galaxy S8. And if you're not familiar with my real day in the life videos, you're basically going to spend a full day with me while we test out the phone and see how it performs with some actual real world usage. But I've got to give a huge shout out to dbrand for getting the phones in my hand a bit earlier than the ones I already pre-ordered. So thanks a lot dbrand, I appreciate it. Now. I do have some pre-orders coming in, so that means I have extra phones to give away to one of you guys. So be sure you subscribe to the channel and check the end of the video for more details on how to enter. So far, all we did was uh, pretty much set it up, get our apps on there, and we haven't done much else. So we're going to check out things like the front-facing camera, all that. No selfies have been taken yet. We're gonna do that now with a full day of work. So the first stop is this place. I gotta come in and grab a package, of course. All right, so I got my email pulled up, and this is like the worst kind of message you can see when you're tracking something. Undeliverable is addressed, because then you gotta go to this place. But yo, peep the skin. This is Dragon Skin by D Brands. Probably one of the best skins I've ever seen. This is hot. Kind of goes with the outfit too. <laughs> so that sucked. I pretty much waited for about, I don't know, maybe even a half hour, and they sent back my package already. When I, it's, mm, that's all I can say, guys. All right, so that was a total bust, but right now we're using the phone as a GPS because we're going to the mall, right, baby? Yeah, and we still don't know how to get to the mall after all these years. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I'm low-key scared of the phone being used as a GPS because the S7 didn't have great battery. Um, the notes, you know. Uh, so I'm, I don't know. This has a smaller battery of the two, so I'm a little scared. Yeah, we've been going for 14 minutes, but you've only lost 3%. Is that a lot? 3%? Yeah, we went from 92% to 89%. Uh, all right. It's manageable. All right, guys. So we're done with our ride. We're on our way inside the mall. Uh, we drove for around 20-something minutes, and we lost about 7%. So 85% still left. Good enough for the rest of the day. So it's a pretty sunny day. But with brightness turned up all the way to the max, we got absolutely no trouble looking at apps or anything on the screen. And I mean, the screen's, the screen's amazing. It's from Samsung, the Super AMOLED display. It's gonna be good, and it is. Now what's crazy is that I didn't even realize it this whole time, but the phone had no issues in my hands. It didn't slip or anything, but that's because I'm using this dragon skin from dbrand. Uh, the one that I used at the event when I first tested it, wasn't too bad, but it was definitely a lot more slippery in the hands than this is. So, glad to get that extra texture here. So right now, Ari's trying to convince me to go to Sephora with her. He's going to Sephora. No. I, I went to Gundam Planet with him and he was there for like two hours just to find the same stuff. Two that he hours? Always no, you're yes. OD. No, definitely two hours. And I was the best sport. I was finding stuff for him to buy. So you'll be coming to me to pick out I'll go in there for a few minutes. So guys. You're not allowed to vlog or take pictures, record in Sephora. So I pieced out of there. Not doing that. There's absolutely nothing there for me at that point. We're in enemy territory, folks. We're in enemy territory. Now, this kind of display, I'm not even going to lie, is taking some getting used to. I'm not used to having those edges on the side. I never really messed around with the Galaxy S7 Edge. I didn't really like that kind of design. But this one's not that bad, but still, it does take some getting used to. But you got cool stuff like this that pop up on the side. You can access a couple of cool things. So it's got its benefits too. But guys, even though the top and bottom spill off a bit because of the edges, you can't deny how beautiful this display is. This thing just looks so amazing. It's definitely worth the sacrifice if you're not used to having those edges spill out. So Ari's walking away with her goodies right there. You proud of you? 15% off? Lucky you. So right now we're in front of this little pet shop and this could be a good opportunity to use the camera. I'm gonna see if I can get a good picture. All right, let's see how that came out. Now it is behind the glass, so kinda hard to know if it's going to be a decent picture. Eh. Pictures are kind of hard to tell if they're really good because of that glass, but we'll try something else for sure. And it would not be right if I did not play this game. Boom. Pokemon Go. It seems to be running pretty smooth. No issues so far. It seems really smooth, actually. 
Nice. And it even fits the weird little aspect ratio that Samsung's going for with this guy. Kind of like the G6, but handles it really well. And yes, I know, Pokemon Go is dead for some people, but not me. Something to note is that you can change the resolution from Full HD to Quad HD. So this phone is capable of Quad HD, but it comes default at Full HD, probably to save battery and stuff like that. And to be completely honest with you, I can't tell the difference. So I'm gonna put it back on that. But since the aspect ratio on this phone is a bit different, it's not the standard 1920 by 1080, it's 2220 by 1080. So it's a little bit more because of the extra pixels at the top and bottom. All right, so our camera died. It's a little bit of time, and now to test out the video quality here, the front-facing camera. So this is the front-facing camera. It's really close. Yeah. Uh, but it, I don't even know what this is in. This is probably 1080p. I'll see if I can change that, but this is the quality. It's pretty good. You need to learn how to extend your arm when doing like selfies down. Oh my god, I gotta be like this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I look crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we got a picture of little Togepi right here. Bixby Vision. You hit that, and then it should detect it. You select what you need to, and let's see if it'll see. Uh, let's see if we can buy this anywhere else. Nothing. Image. Uh, ah, I know that it's Togepi, and something that isn't Togepi. Okay, okay. Yeah, a bunch of Togepi's. That's actually really cool. This is just so random. The fact that it pulled it up is really nice. Alright, so we're out of the mall, but as you can see, the sun's going down a bit. I still haven't really gotten a chance to play around with the camera, so I figured I'd bring down one of my little Gundams uh, from the office and, I don't know, take a couple pictures, see how it goes. Alright, so we've got a few shots. My goodness, guys, this camera honestly is so amazing. So this has a 1.7 uh, aperture, so that means that you'll get that nice depth of field effect, uh, natural depth of field effect, no special software here to do that. So basically what that means, guys, is that you're gonna get those blurry backgrounds and you're gonna have your, your subject in focus. So it gives you that nice professional look. It looks really, really good. Oh, I love this phone. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Time to jump on the booster board. Woo, let's see what that optical image stabilization is like. Where's he going? All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, this looks pretty good. Don't hit the little children. Some bumpy streets over here. All right, I think for the most part, we got what we needed, folks. So I got Ari out here. She's like freezing. I am. I'm very cold right now. <laughs> Do it for the shot, though. So Ari's gonna try out the front-facing camera. Yeah, Let us know selfies are doing. very important to me. So let's see. Let's see. I like it. It feels, I still think it looks a little soft. Like, yeah, it looks a little soft to me. Um, but in comparison to like what I have on my iPhone, it's pretty much the same. I like it. Looks clear enough. All right, guys. So it's about 749 right now. And we're looking at 27% of battery life left. Uh, let's see if we can find the screen on time. Um, we're looking at about three hours and 19 minutes. So I did use a lot of GPS from Google Maps to Pokemon Go, um, but hey, that's where we are. Not the best battery life in the world. Uh, this does have 3000 milliamp hours. I really wish they ha it had a bit more, but hey, the LG G6 has about 3300, which would have been nice, but uh, it is what it is. Using this in the hand hasn't been a problem. Uh, I was able to throw it in my pocket with no problem as well, even though it freaks me out because it doesn't have a screen protector right now. But it's been pretty smooth. Uh, had no problem. Uh, obviously, a skin helps in terms of being able to hold on to it. Uh, Bixby, 
there's no real point to the big speed right now to be honest but whatever honestly i think the only real complaint i have with this phone right now well besides the mediocre battery life i would say is the fact that apps don't take advantage of the full real estate by default and when i say that that means when i open an app that doesn't support the full uh real estate you can see that there's like a black border right here underneath the uh, notification bar so you can actually jump into the settings and change that so by jumping into display you can then go to full screen apps and there are some apps that are by default going to take the whole real estate of the phone and then some others that you have to hit a switch for so if you want all your apps to be like that you're gonna have to do this whenever you install it so just something to note when you're going through uh, and downloading your apps. All right guys, so Ari's been using the S8 obviously. So what are your thoughts? Did you try typing with it and like writing messages and all that? Yeah, I did. One of my main concerns, okay, this feels so scripted, okay. Oh, scripted? It's not scripted, it's not scripted, but I, one of my main concerns, remember I told you before about switching from um, an Apple phone to mm -hmm. Samsung device is like the typing and texting, I'm a huge texter, but it felt, just fine like it felt just the same it's, just, it's weird that phone felt like it was going to be too big for me that's why i opted for the s8 mm -hmm. but she's going from a iphone 7 to a, an s8 plus which yeah. is a huge huge jump so you still found it comfortable i still found it comfortable but i do feel the difference obviously in the phone but it doesn't feel like i'm at a disadvantage at all because i have small hands and i'm using this there you have it and you don't like the selfie camera. I don't know. That's the one thing. I, I'm not that crazy about it. It's okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. The, uh, so you don't think it's Instagram worthy? I don't... Uh, no? No. I don't think so. Let's show one more what? time. Oh, yeah. You got to use the, the fingerprint. Uh, not the fingerprint. The heart rate sensor heart rate, yeah. to uh, take selfies, which is actually pretty cool. Ready? You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little washed out. It does, right? It doesn't feel like as crisp, I think, as like the back camera or even my front front uh, facing camera, my iPhone. Shots fired. So guys, we've been comparing these two phones, the selfie cameras. We're spending way too much time on this. I think we are, but selfies are serious business, so we have I to do I don't know, I, I feel like I gotta go with the S8. Ari likes, Ari I do. really likes what the iPhone is. So what we're gonna produced. do is we're gonna put up both pictures up. Okay, and then you you guys will tell us which one you think looks best. We took a picture that's almost the same exact positioning, so you guys can tell us what you think is best. You be the judge. <laughs> now, we spent some real time with the phone, and there's a long list of things that I love about this phone, and a handful of things that I'm not so crazy about. But first thing that I really like is the design. I think it looks great, it's comfortable in the hand, and even the S8 Plus is pretty good in the hand as well. It's about the same height as the iPhone 7 Plus that I use, but that bigger screen does make it a two-handed device. But overall, I think they look great and they feel great in the hand, even with those edges. Now the second thing I like is of course that beautiful display. Despite those edges that I'm not so crazy about, it is still an amazing, amazing screen. The screen is vibrant and colorful and still manages to be large on a small body like the S8 and even more ridiculous on the S8 Plus. Uh, I do really like it. It is a bit longer though, so it may take some time for people to get used to it as well as developers to develop apps that really fit that aspect ratio. But thankfully, Samsung does offer some setting changes that allows you to fit the apps in there so it doesn't look too weird. Uh, YouTube even offers some aspect ratio changes that do crop this frame a bit so there are little tweaks that you can implement to get around that and of course the camera is amazing just like most of Samsung's recent devices it looks really good it produces some excellent quality photos as well as videos uh, they're very vibrant have great dynamic range very sharp so you can't complain with the camera Ari wasn't completely sold on the front-facing camera though but I personally liked it but she thinks iPhones are a bit better for her Instagram. And while Bixby may not be super useful anywhere else, when it comes to your camera and photos, it's actually really cool that you can go in and search things on the internet, depending on what it finds in your photos. And it can be pretty hit or miss, but when it does work, it's actually very surprising and cool. Now, when it comes to the UI, I gotta say, I really do like it. Samsung's come a long, long way when it comes to the UI. I used to hate TouchWiz, but now they've implemented a much nicer version. Even arranging the home screen has gotten a lot simpler, better than what I've seen on any other smartphone. If you really care about your home screen and arranging it and customizing it, Samsung makes it a lot easier to do this with the S8. So I'm a huge fan of these upgrades. Uh, the UI for me has been stellar. 
And there's other cool little bonuses like expandable storage, IP68 water resistance in case you spill some water on it. And there's even new ways to unlock your phone. So new security, you can use your iris scanner, uh, face detection, or even a fingerprint scanner, all kinds of cool ways. Not all of them are really necessary since it can be fooled by a photo or even an identical twin, which is not the best idea, but you can actually just use the fingerprint scanner, which is really fast. And that's the one I use all the time. And there are those handful of things that I'm not so crazy about speaker being one of them it's very easy to completely block out the sound depending on how you hold it so that's not so great uh, there's also that weird bixby button <sighs> it is such a tease to have an awesome button there that could potentially offer a really cool feature to their device but they want to keep it as bixby uh, bixby is not the most useful thing in the world so everyone's complaining and i get why and battery life is a bit mediocre. I had about four hours and 14 minutes of screen on time. Uh, that's not super impressive. I wish it had a bit more, but I can understand why Samsung's not really trying to push any boundaries when it comes to battery right now. Uh, but either way, those are uh, just a handful of things I dislike on a phone that I love overall. And uh, I definitely recommend it. The Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are awesome phones. Uh, just depends on what size you want. Now, of course, I know you're all waiting to hear about the giveaway. And to answer, it's simple. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, Boom, that's it, that's all you gotta do. Now I'm going to be announcing the winner over on Twitter, so be sure to be following me there. Uh, the winner's gonna be selected at random in two weeks. So uh, yeah, be sure to pay attention there. If you wanna see any other videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.